So we're going to install the KVM QMU CSI Linux 2023.2 image with Versh. Uh, we're going to use Define, but Create will also work. If you put it in the normal resource pool, then you should just be able to um, do the uh, Versh Create. If, however, you're running it from another uh, resource or another location, then you will need to make a few changes. So let's get started. So right now I actually have the uh, QCAL2 image in the XML file in a subfolder of an external hard drive. Uh, I am running it uh, on an SSD drive, so it's a little bit faster, especially for the demo. So I do have it predefined out here at the bottom command line. It's called Versh Define, and then the XML file. Once I create that and run it, we should see it in the uh, Vert Manager. So I'm using Vert Manager for GUI. However, when we run this, it's going to give me an error. So let's go ahead and uh, give that error real quick. And it says it can't find the file because, again, it's not in the default pool. So here what I'm going to do is I'll go and open this. So let's double click on it. And then we're going to go into the settings. In settings, we have the SATA disk. And it is pointing to a file, but again, since it's not in the default pool, it's not able to see it. So the easy fix for this is remove it. Just make sure, don't delete, just in case. Uh, it shouldn't delete it anyway because it's not seen. Let's go to select, create custom image. Let's do manage. Now we're gonna add the default pool of where my uh, QCOW is gonna be located. So go in at plus. Here, we'll just, we'll name it pool. Uh, we're gonna browse. I'm going to make sure to go into the folder that I have the, the QCAL image in, or the QCAL images in. And then I'll go in and open. Here, we should now see, and see, click on pool, the actual QCAL file. So if you click on it, choose volume. Everything here looks good. Go in and uh, finish. Now we have one disk, and that disk is pointed to the actual location of the file. So here, we can go ahead and hit close, play, and we do see some activity. So I'll reopen this, go back to the screen. Okay, it looks like it is booting. Let's go ahead and wait to finish for it to boot. And it is working pretty hard in the background. There we go. Go and log in to CSI. Once it loads up, should be good to go. So that is how you install and troubleshoot if you're getting a file that doesn't exist error. How to basically um, put in the uh, CSI Linux 2023 QCAL image into KVM and manage it through uh, Vert Manager.